Welcome on board. Let's get started with the PX Code tutorial. PX Code is an online editor to convert your design file to responsive web code. What does responsive mean? It means the content flows appropriately with the resolution change. Wow, it's magic. How does it work? The key is structure. The content should be structured based on the expected responsive behaviors. Next, let's learn how to structure content in PX Code. While the design was imported, PX Code would ungroup all the content into flattened items. You must structure all the items from scratch to ensure the structure's correctness, which directly affects the responsiveness behaviors. All the unstructured items would be marked as alone, which means it doesn't team up. As you see, there are 28 alone items to be resolved. If you team up alone items into the structure, it would be marked as checked, which means it's team up or well structured. What is the difference between alone and checked? In HTML, the structure means the content items are in rows and columns. Let's call those content flow content. PX Code introduces the tool Smart Group to team up the alone items into rows and columns. Smart Group only accepts three forms to team up alone items into checked. The first form is the column, which means items are arranged vertically. For example, you can use multiple select those items by pressing the shift key. Or use range selection with a mouse. Please also notice the items in the left navigation panel. The selected items are highlighted. You can execute the smart group by pressing this icon. Or right click the menu to choose smart group. Or press the hot key, control G, in Windows or command G, in Mac. After the execution, you would notice these three items marked green checked because all are team up, and there is a created team marked alone to be resolved later. The second form is row, which means items are arranged horizontally. In this example, you can multiple select those items and execute the smart group. And all the items are marked from alone to checked. The third form is cover, which means one item fully covers the other one. In this example, you can multiple select these two items and execute the smart group. And you can see it would convert into a new parent team with the checked child item within. You can achieve the goal by executing the smart group to eliminate all the alone items. What if you multiple select the items which don't follow any one of the three rules? For example, let's randomly select three items. You would be aware the border of the selection is red, which means items don't follow the rules. Compared to the items that follow the rules, the border would be blue. After confirming the warning pop-up, it will try its best to arrange the items in rows or columns, which would change the original design position. You shouldn't apply that in most cases. Combining these three forms of smart group can achieve many various web layouts like this. In this case, the content is arranged in columns and in rows. These two are in columns, and these three are in rows. And in columns. Let's demo how to use Smart Group. You can multi select these three items and click Smart Group. And multi select these two items, which is the cover case. Click the Smart Group icon, or execute Smart Group from right click menu. Range select these three items and Smart Group. Range select these two items and Smart Group. Then select these two items in rows and smart group. Smart group these two items, which is the cover case. And the same for these two items. These three items are in columns. And it seems we miss the item action button. So we reselect these two items and smart group. And smart group the last three items. 
you can notice that we keep eliminating the alone items into checked. When all the alone items are marked as checked, PX code will show the congratulation pop-up that means you have structured the content and entered the responsive phase. You can apply the lucky guess. Lucky guess is to run our intelligent algorithm to apply responsive settings automatically based on your structure. You can customize the detailed responsive settings afterward. You can test the responsive result by dragging the handle.